Welcome to the Meme Corner. I'm Frost, and today we have some adorable memes. But before we get into those, if you guys haven't heard yet, there's going to be a little bit of a change here on the channel. See, Kit's gonna be going back to finish the college courses that COVID interfered with, so it's gonna mean he's not gonna have as much time to edit. So that's gonna be a thing, but it means I also have more time to go hunting for quality memes. So that's gonna be a little bit of a trade-off, but no worries, we'll figure everything out. Anyways, let's get into the memes, shall we? Ah, oh, first we have... Why is the cobalt yippee? And there's a picture of an adorable little blue cobalt going... Eh, eat. And yeah, I sort of agree. Number one, why wouldn't the cobalt be yipping? It's an adorable sound. And two, if you were smart, you'd be doing the same thing. Because yipping is fun. And I have to say, I agree with all of this. Because yipping is fun. And if you were smart, you'd be trying to have fun too. Go ahead, give it a try. And if you don't know how to yip, all you have to do is take a breath and all at once for about half a second make the ah sound so and don't worry everyone has their own voice so yours is going to sound unique to you but anyways ah next we have oh no you said cookies why did you say cookies you never say cookies around a fox that is a really good way to have our ears perk up and our eyes lock on you and yeah, if you're the one who said cookies, then we're probably staring at you expecting cookies. So, oh, that's sort of your fault. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Give me cookies! <laughs> but, anyways, off next we have... What do you call a protogen with a water bottle? A hydrogen. I am fairly certain we've actually done this one before, but at the same time, it's still adorable. Seriously though, even if it does make you a hydrogen, definitely stay hydrated. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're turning into a mummy. But, oh, anyways. Up next we have, I'm not a furry, but yeah, you sort of fluffing are. And I get that one of the things about the furry fandom is you're the one that chooses whether you're a furry or not. But at the same time, if you're into all of these sort of things, chances are you are just like every other furry. The only difference is you don't want to admit to being a furry. And I get that furries are weird and some people don't want to associate with that kind of weird. But seriously, if you're looking up things like Brian with a six pack, you're probably already a furry and you're probably already way too far gone to try to be normal. But I mean, to each their own, you do you. That's part of the mentality of this fandom, and it's one of the things that makes it so great. But anyways, up next we have, you know how I got these scars? Otter pops. Yeah, that's a really good way to scar up your mouth. Kate actually keeps a small stockpile of these things each summer in our freezer, and even I have to admit, I've cut up my mouth with these things a couple times. And for those of you who don't know how you could cut yourself with one of these, imagine a paper cut inside your mouth. It doesn't feel good. But I mean, for him to get scars that wide, yeah, he'd probably have to try to put that whole line of them in his mouth and pull them out all at once. And all I can think of is, ow! I can understand wanting an otter pop, but at the same time, why do this to yourself? But, anyways, ah, next we have another one by Luck Foxo. Okay, let's see. Right hand, pretty good. Left hand, not so good. Right foot, oof, all of the squiggles. And last but not least, butt cheeks. And, um, I have to ask, sir or madam, how did you come about learning that you could draw with your butt cheeks like that? And why are you better with your butt cheeks than you are with your hands? There are so many questions I want to ask. What made you put a pencil in your butt cheeks and try to draw? Honestly, my guess would probably be drunken bet. 
Because wasn't there a painter who, after one particular drunken bet, learned to paint exclusively using his weenie as a brush? Seriously, alcohol is typically how artists learn how to do stuff like this, so I wouldn't be surprised. But, well, anyways. Ah, oh, next we have... Is that a remote in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? And apparently it's a remote... That's actually strangely unfortunate that your pocket goes to your crotch and not where it's supposed to go, towards the bottom of your leg. Personally, if I had a pair of shorts that did this, I'd probably throw them away, because really, if you put anything in your pockets and the pockets are slanted down towards your crotch on the inside, it's gonna look really unfortunate. But either fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you see it, it was just a remote in his pocket. And I think in that raccoon's case, it's probably gonna be unfortunate. She looks a little thirsty. But, oh. Anyways. Last but not least, we have... This is how mother fluffers that use this smiley want to be treated. And, I mean... I can't confirm or deny this one, so... Oh. Although in this case, I think the bleppy one is probably aiming for that kind of treatment, so that's sort of a thing. I'm pretty certain this is either crop if or it's quickly gonna escalate into it. But either way, it seems like the green bleppy thing is already horny, so I don't think it's really that big of a deal. But, huh. that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and want to let us know what you think, Leave a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. But until next time, later memesters. Oh yeah, I want to show our patrons some love too because they're awesome. Their contributions help us to afford all the neat stuff we use to record. So thank you. And um, if you want to become a patron too, you can click the link down in the description. You'd really be helping the channel out and you'd get a couple nifty goodies too. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, then yay, you're amazing. By the way, subscribe. Please don't make a foxy bag.